Hey guys, Chris here from LMI Technologies uh, doing another demonstration of our Surface Blob tool. Uh, last time we took a look at how do we find random defects utilizing this tool, uh, but this time we'll use it to count objects. In this case, uh, we're going to be counting some dice, and not only that, but we can count the number of dots on each dice to look at the total. Um, what's really nice what we're showing here, especially when it comes to 3D scanning, is we're scanning uh, different colors. Uh, we also have one dice that is completely white with white dots. So typically this may be hard to see, but using 3D scanning, uh, we can look at the height difference uh, on that surface. So we'll go ahead and add our surface blob tool here. Uh, we'll take a scan. And already we're picking up four dice. And so this is the four that we see in our environment. Uh, you can visually see the dots on here. Um, but we'll go ahead and uh, measure those individually later and as a total. So the first one we'll do is uh, we'll measure those in total uh, by duplicating this tool. Uh, but instead of looking for all four of these, we're going to look below a certain threshold, which is this surface here. So we'll go ahead and change our threshold to below. Um, and we'll change our height to anything, let's say, below uh, 24.5. And we'll also want to look at some internal areas too, which is inside the, the scan data. So there we go. We're able to easily identify how many dots we see uh, in this environment right here. If I were to rotate this around, uh, maybe change that to a six. We scan that and now we pick up six and we get a total count of 12. Now, another thing that we can do is, uh, although we're counting these in total, we can count each uh, dice individually. So from this first surface blob tool, we can output these uh, individual data sets separately. And so we'll output four of those and we'll do those as surface one, two, three, and four. So we'll go back into this tool and instead of looking at everything, uh, we'll duplicate this and we can focus primarily on one of the surface blob tools here. Uh, so when we do that, uh, we only look at this individual dice and we can count one. Uh, we can duplicate that again, look at surface two, and in this case we get six. Uh, so we can do that so on and so forth until we identify not only in total how many dots do we see, but how many dots were on each individual dice. So there you go, there's uh, the surface blob tool uh, showing you how 3D scanning makes it easy to count items in your environment.